Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my video, my postcard from London. Letting you know how we're enjoying our trip so far. We've been here about four days. Um, unfortunately, the flight for me really knocked me around. I've and I've still got jet lag after four days to the point that I can actually be throwing up. So hopefully it is getting better slowly, but and this is the worst I've ever been. I don't know if it's the fact that the flight wasn't as good as we thought it would be and I don't know maybe it's old age anyway flying out of Cairns I was half an hour late leaving so I got to Singapore and I had to catch the air train to my next gate to catch the plane to the UK Heathrow so it was a 20 minute walk to the air train and then 23 minutes from the air train to get to my gate which I lost a lot of my traveling time for downtime and maybe that is why the jet lag is hitting me hard the rush 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 and the flight itself was quite turbulent anyway I didn't get a lot of crochet done on my blanket project that I took for my traveling project I have worked on it a bit today I've worked on it on, the, on and off on different things last time I showed you was here and I'm now how far up I've done a bit so I did a bit on a um, trip to Brighton. We've spent a lot of time with the eldest son. He's back at work yesterday. Um, he's a school teacher in the year, started yesterday. Um, over the weekend, we went on a day trip to Brighton via train. Now on the train, it's a beautiful day. 28 degrees Celsius. I actually got a bit of sunburn. First time ever in the UK. Have I had sunburn? So I know I did a bit on the train trip there and back. Um, and yeah, we are actually planning on hiring a car and going to the Brighton area, Thing and I, and coming back for the weekend when the sun isn't working. We catch up with him most nights for dinner, but first week of school, he's got lots of planning and meetings. So it's probably a good thing that if we go away and he doesn't feel obligated to keep seeing us, and then we'll come back and spend more time with him before we fly off to our next adventure. The other things we did in London yesterday when he started school, we went into Oxford Street for shopping. Things, feet are really sore from Spain and he wanted some new joggers. So we went to a place that our son recommended in Oxford Street. And I did Google, yes, yarn shops. And there was a yarn shop that um, at the end where Oxford Street meets Regent Street you go down recent Regent Street a little bit and turn off onto Poland Street there is a haberdashery yarn shop they do sell a lot of fabric but they do have a really nice yarn range a little high-end but nice and I actually did buy some yarn so I thought I'd share it with you it's very colorful and it was a very wet dowdy sort of day yesterday when I bought it. Here it is, two skeins of the same yarn. Very, very colourful, beautiful, soft yarn. It is Manos del Uruguay, made in Uruguay, Ale Allegra. Um, the colour is that one. The artisan is Maribel. Location is, it says location is Dragon, but I think maybe that's what they mean colour. Yeah, Mary Bell is the artisan and the location, which is probably colour, is dragon. So it is hand dyed. It is 75% super merino and 25% polyamide. And there are 445 yards or 405 metres in a skein. And they recommend a 2.25 or 3 millimetre crochet hook because it is a really nice um, what we call four ply or fingering weight and I couldn't resist I bought two they probably cost me about 22 pound a skein which is about $44 Australian a skein but it is beautiful yarn I've actually had that brand of yarn before not the hand dyed the other thing I bought was and I'd like to say at this stage 
welcome to all those new subscribers. There have been absolutely heaps over the last few days. I'm truly amazed and I thank you for joining us and I hope you and stay and enjoy the content. I think I'm probably about 17 off 2000 and I did say I do a giveaway for 2000 subscribers worldwide and I thought while I was in the shop I saw something I'll either put it in the giveaway or I may keep it for myself but I really thought it was cute and a great little book so little crocheted monsters 12 mini monsters amigurumi to make back one <laughs> double header I thought it was very cute and it was really reasonably priced six pound 12 Australian dollars um, I'm trying to think does it say who it's by it's just WGCM books I don't think it actually says inside publisher Jonathan Bailey designer Gina Zeal I don't know if that's the pattern designer but yes I bought that two skeins of yarn from because I haven't said the name of the yarn shop as you can see I am under the weather it is McCulloch and Wallace haberdashery fabrics and trimmings and they do have a lovely yarn section and it, the window caught my eye I've got some photos I'll post at the end of the yarn shop and a few other things we've done we went down for a walk down Carnaby Street thing one or two Carnaby Street was famous in the 60s for all the rock and roll and musicians and fashion it's a little disappointing now it's just high-end fashion there was no retro fashion shops or vinyl record stores sticking with the theme of why Carnaby Street became famous he was disappointed I must admit but there are some other photos we took that may appear at the end of this video anyway guys it's just a postcard so it's a short video there will be more whenever I can get enough internet to upload them and think it's interesting but there you go stay well stay safe and make sure you do some crafting on a blanket for Boggy Creek bye for now